scale of a map. So far, we have learnt about the various elements of a map. This year, let us consider what the scale of a map is. On a map, we show information about the earth or its specific regions with the help of conventional symbols, colour, distance and direction. You must have often wondered how the whole earth or its parts can be shown on a small piece of paper. This is possible because of the scale of a map. The scale of a map includes two factors. One, ground distance between two places. Two, map distance between the same two places. The ground distance between two places is shown on a map with the help of a proportionate shorter distance. This figure shows a surveyor preparing a map of an area. The picture shows the ground distance between two trees in front of a building and also the map distance between the same two trees on the surveyor's board. The ratio of the map distance between two places and the ground distance between the same two places is called the scale of a map. The ground distance between the trees in the picture is 30 meters whereas the map distance between the same two trees is 30 centimeters. We can use the following formula to calculate the scale of the map. Scale of the map is equal to the map distance between two points is divided by ground distance between the same. Scale of the map is equal to 30 centimeters divided by 30 meters is equal to 1 centimeter divided by 1 meter. Thus, the scale of the map is 1 centimeter to 1 meter. While expressing the scale, the map distance is written on the left, followed by the ground distance on the right side. There are three types of scales. Let's study about them one by one. Verbal scale. In this type of scale, words are used to express the units of distance used in the scale. Hence, it is called verbal scale. For example, the scale 1 cm to 10 km means that 1 cm of map distance represents 10 km of ground distance. Numerical scale In this type, the scale is expressed as a ratio. For example, 1 is to 10 lakhs. Here, the unit given on the left of the symbol refers to the map distance and the figure on the right of the symbol represents the ground distance as measured in the same unit. In other words, if the map distance is 1 cm, the ground distance is 10 lakhs centimeters. As only numerals are used in this scale, it is called a numerical scale, linear or graphical scale. This line is drawn according to the scale and is divided into a suitable number of equal parts. Beginning with zero, each part is labelled with the ground distance it represents. With this scale, it is easy to directly read the ground distances between points on the map. You can take the distance between two points on the map in your divider. When you place the divider on the scale, you get the ground distance. Let us study the types of maps. There are two types of maps based on their scale as follows. Large scale maps. Maps which use more space to represent a small area are called 
large scale maps small scale maps maps which use less space to represent a large area are called small scale maps they give information about vast areas examples of such maps are regional maps maps of the countries or of the world generally maps with a scale smaller than 1 is to 10000 are called small scale maps the ratio representing the scale of a map is actually a fraction you have compared fractions in mathematics you know that the fraction with a smaller denominator is bigger therefore note that the fraction 1 is to 10000 represents a large scale and 1 is to 50000 represents a small scale now let us learn a new topic field visit field visits help us to understand what we learn in the textbooks that is why field visits are very necessary for learning geography during a field visit it is possible to communicate directly with the people and exchange ideas in this lesson we have planned a visit to the bus station as a model field visit in a similar way we can gather information about any geographical place bus station even in a small village there is a bus station buses carrying passengers to and fro stop at the bus station we travel to other places in a bus every day at the bus station passengers arrive from and depart to different places what do we see at a bus station buses are waiting near the platform to go to different places there is a board near the platform indicating which buses depart from it there is a timetable showing the incoming and outgoing buses at the bus station also there is a weighing machine to weigh the luggage there is a traffic control room and also different windows for inquiry ticket reservation students pass etc some passengers have just arrived and some are waiting to board a bus the name number route and time of departure of each bus is announced on the loudspeaker for the convenience of the passengers there are also facilities for sending parcels and other luggage as well as transport of tiffins and post bags there are helpers to load and unload the luggage there is a canteen at the bus station passengers can have refreshments there facilities like toilets and drinking water are provided at the bus station hawkers are selling things that are needed on the journey also there are shops where chappals umbrellas and bags can be repaired at some places we also find flour fruit vegetable and mithai vendors for local transport rickshaws tangas taxis etc are available during the field visit at the bus station we should collect the following information the name of the bus station the facilities available if a passenger needs to stay in that place arrangements made to carry extra passengers if there is a fair or a festival destinations for which the buses leave from that bus station districts to which the buses from this station go write the names of any four of them the facility available for the stay of the driver and the conductor the facility for loading and unloading luggage